Hey everybody, we're here at Nona Blue, voted best restaurant in Lake Nona. <laughs> so we're gonna go inside, check it out, get some food, their featured dishes, um, probably some behind the scenes. So stay tuned. Yo, so we're doing this vlog, also shooting a video with Julian, same time. So I think we're gonna check out the G Mac and Cheese, which is a uh, dish that they, what he said, like they kind of modeled after is Graham McDowell, I believe is his name, the golf group. So they call him G-Mac, so they were like, yo, why don't we come up with a dish that's like, represents yeah, represents that, yeah, in honor of him. So they came up with G-Mac and cheese, which is mac and cheese with lobster. So we're gonna try that. All right, let's see. This is the G-Mac and cheese right here, right here. Main lobster, apple with smoked bacon, rich cheese sauce. Wow. Do the honors. Oh my gosh, it's so you can hear the crisp. Bro, that smells so good. Get your little piece out that way I can eat out the boat. Oh my gosh. Can you guys get in this cheesy goodness? That is ridiculous. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, goodness. This is for your show. I don't even know how to eat that. I'll show you. Should I grab it with my hands? Yeah. Are you done? Can I yeah, you can do it. I didn't want to, you know. I'm a little nervous. Oh, it's not gonna, it's, it's not a crazy like, oh wow, I just ate a muscle. <laughs> just like normal seafood, just different. Alright, so, they're in the show. What do I gotta do? Crack you just, pull it open? yeah, crack it open and then you eat that. You can just eat it like that, put it up. <laughs> It's good, right? It's nothing like, yeah, it's not oh, bad. it's not like, oh my god, I just had an octopus or You gotta eat that other one. I'm going. Let me show you a trick. So, let's see. He knows all the tricks. He's a muscle so connoisseur. This is what someone told me. It's not bad idea. It's like, even without using your, your forks and stuff like that, you can actually use the shell to open that up, take that out, and then you can. Oh, that's smart. And now you can Thank use you, that sir. shell as a utensil. Got it. So, the same sense. You know, the same thing like that. Oh my gosh. And make sure that you get some of the, uh, the juice. Uh, juice from like You're just shelling out all kind of ideas. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> There it is. <laughs> Yo, when you dip that bread in there, that's a whole nother. That's a whole nother. That's a whole nother game, bro. Game changer. That's a game changer right there. That's where it's at. All right. This is the ahi tuna. Ahi tuna. Ahi tuna. Steak. Do the honors. Slice and dice. Oh my gosh. Just cut one. Huh? Just cut that one and try it. Try this? Yeah. I think I need to have it with this one. Oh. Uh oh. It's so tender, like I can't pick it up. That's good. It's a totally different flavor. You ever had uh, seared tuna before? Never in my life. Alright. I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna pass uh, my turn to Omar for this uh, tuna because I know he likes seared tuna. So I want to get his opinion. I want to get Omar's opinion on the seared tuna because he's he's a uh, he's more experienced in this realm. All right, let's get in this. <laughs> let's get in it. <laughs> so yeah, definitely with the uh, ahi tuna uh, seared very nicely at the top. They have a nice flesh to it. So I like to kind of dip it in there. How do you 
know if it's how do you know if something's a good uh like when it's seared like that how do you know you tell tell by like how thick it is or how the texture how do you tell i'm not an expert but i go by what kind of flavors comes out as soon as i take that bite if you look on the side look so you can see how much is seared oh yeah you see like a change in color yeah yeah so like i love ahi tuna and i love the way they they prepare it and cook it uh, it's really good to me I'm in heaven. So whenever they make the carrot cake, they obviously, everything is made fresh in house. Okay. Um, so they literally have the carrots, the crushed pineapple. Um, it has the um, flour, you know, the milk extract, everything. So they bake it, they let it sit, they poke the holes in it, and then they have this syrup, this caramel syrup that they drizzle over it. So it has time to seep into the cake and make it super moist. And then they'll let that sit. And they take the cream cheese frosting, the amazing cream cheese frosting, I can eat with a spoon. And they then frost it, they let it sit, and then they um, heat it up just a little bit before it's served, and they drizzle caramel sauce over top. So it's literally, I've had so many people tell me the best carrot cake they've oh, ever yeah. had in their whole life, by far, so. Mm. Oh my. These are the carrots that count for a woman. <laughs> like, girl, how many carrots is that cake? Mm -hmm. Give me your plate. Thank you, ma'am. Just enough to try, but not too much to where I gotta run a mile. <laughs> oh, sorry, you said a That's Julian's. <laughs> <laughs> Next plate. <laughs> This is the best carrot cake ever in the world, bro. So, if you haven't had the Lake Nona, Nona Blue carrot cake, I don't even know what to tell you. Like, at this point, if you lived in Lake Nona for more than a couple months and you haven't had this carrot cake, it's kind of like you should be ashamed of yourself in a sense. <laughs> It's like, man, you gotta come get this. Stomachs are full. But I'm happy. Look, there's a reason why people voted this the number one place. Just come get it, come try it. It's kind of hard to figure out what to say. It's just so good. It's so good. There's nothing. <laughs> it's just so good. It's like, it's what else right. do you say? So between food, customer service, ambiance, like they just have it all together. They know what they're doing in there. So you're gonna come, have a great meal, have a great time. I mean, what's better than good food, good company, good prices? So, just gotta try it out. So, <laughs> don't forget to subscribe, watch the next one, like, share, let us know what you think. I'm gonna need a stretcher. I'll make sure to call the ambulance for you. <laughs>